guess I could just, oh, there it is. Okay, if you're just tuning in, thank you for joining us. This is about to get really stupid. So we have decided to do 50 on 50. The game doesn't enable you to do this simply. I do have a green screen connected to the back of my chair to answer uh, Mike's question. Um, I, so yeah, it's 50 on 50. So what we've done is shirts, people wearing jackets are jumping out immediately. Uh, let me get over here. Let's see. It looks like, it looks like they're all jumping. And it's, it's uh, 10 teams of five. They're all going to drop down here. I don't know how they're communicating, how it's going to work out. They're figuring all this stuff out on their own. Uh... Oh, boy. I, I don't know. It's going to be pretty nuts. Then the plane is taking the other 50, the skins, to the other side. Um, if you are watching this and you are on one of these teams and you're, like, thinking, oh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop down and pretend to be a skin or pretend to be a jacket person, and then I'm going to go ahead and kill them. Don't do that. Let's make this real. At least this first time. I want to see if this could even work. Um, so, yeah, it looks like we got 100 players in, I think. Oh, 98. So a couple of people, a couple of people weren't able to make it in. But enough have, and the looting has begun on this side of the island. I mean, for now, let's just go to the... Wow, look at that. Okay. So basically, you have two 50-person armies. And I don't... Maybe this is what Arma's like. I don't know. Let me bring up the uh, the map now. Uh, there we go. And we got to remember that the uh, circle is going to determine where the battlefield is. But as it's looking right now, it looks like the school is going to be the big hot zone. Yeah, I mean, just based on where they're going to have to run to get to one another, absolutely. But, I, yeah, let's see where this first circle drops, where it comes down. Someone's already shooting. Hopefully that's not, like, a team killer. I guess punching is, uh, also shows up, so I, don't, I doubt it. And, yeah, I... God. So let's look around. Let's see, uh... Jade Kiwi is wearing a jacket. Uh, oh, yeah, wearing a jacket. I don't think they're supposed to be. I think, uh... I can't remember. What's skin? Did skins drop first? I can't remember how I did this. Uh, jackets dropped first. Skins yeah, dropped okay. at the end. So, yeah, already I think we've already got someone confused or messed up. Hopefully they can uh, get the message and drop their jacket because otherwise they're going to get fucking team killed very quickly. <laughs> and there's Deck at Ramba. Well, I, I don't know. Is that how I did Let me double check. My favorite anime. Yeah, shirts dropped immediately. Skins dropped it. Okay, yeah, so I, I don't know. Maybe people got confused. Oh, well. Uh, I never expected this to work. I just had hopes. I just had dreams. Daggett Rampa. Yeah, exactly. So okay. who, do you think the, who do you think the early favorite is? Oh, fuck, dude. I don't know. This is just a hot mess. Is, this, uh... this is pandemonium already, and they haven't even fired at each other. Uh, I, mean, I guess, I mean, if I had to say, I think it may be the team of jackets just because they had so many um people working together that were like in the discord but like you look over there skins has regina and henry mark IV. uh i it's going to come down to who communicates better who has like generals in their own discord uh communicating different ideas different concepts about how they should attack and then filtering that filtering that down through like in-game chat to their entire squad i mean if right. they can if people are able to figure that out uh I think they're going to have a huge advantage. Communication is just going to be so key. Um, we could see, honestly see like coordinated flanking attacks with like a huge cavalry of a bunch of people in cars while a few people are drawing attackers towards them with like just random gunfire. We could see any sort of madness like that, but it, it's all going to come down to whether or not these people are speaking with one another. And we're already seeing the first team kills of the day. Are we really? Goddamn. Well, I, the two teams haven't haven't collapsed on each other yet, and I've already seen three deaths. Yep, you're right. Uh, oh or well. Maybe, or maybe two, one knockdown, one death, but somebody's definitely dead. Yep, We're down to right. 97. Take a look here, see if we can't. Actually, the map will have the skull on it still, I think. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Yeah, I think uh, I think people are just trying to be clever. I, I mean, it looks like a lot of people actually did get confused. Cause it looks like he's wearing a he's wearing some sort of jacket. Now I think we we need to ask the question before the action really picks up here. Did you turn clothing loot down? No, I didn't. But I really should have. Don't pick <laughs> up clothing. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think this through. Clearly, we're winging it, and I'm not very good at this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that circle is going to force them to kind of come. Yeah. Uh, so the guys at the north, uh, I believe that should be jackets. Maybe that, you know what, maybe I'm just confused. Okay, no, this is skins. The plane was going the other direction, so I've just been confused. Um, so this skin team up here to the north is going to have to just go due south. And they're all heading in that direction. They're going to meet up with that squad down there. Um, they're, and they're heading uh, west right now, I believe, or east. 
And so they aren't on a, a collision like course, like head on. They're going to have to meet out, meet each other up. Uh, I think at this point, it does look like, yeah, North team might have a better chance of getting into the circle first and getting set up. But it's not like a uh, jacket team is far behind in that situation. They are uh, kind of just a little bit further outside of the circle in terms of the bulk, in terms of like where they are mostly set up. Um, a couple of people down on jacket team trying to get over on the island, trying to get it set up quickly. I guess at this point, it really is going to come down to like how the circle works out and forces people to go. Uh, right now, it's just random. It could be anything. You know what I now, with where the circle is right now, I, we won't know for sure until the next two circles, but I would love to see that circle collapse Novo side on the bridge and have the uh, southern team right now hit the military island and then the northern team come for the bridge and have a huge fight on the bridge. I agree, and I think that is very likely, but we'll have to see if that works out. Um, I think a lot of people are trying to get – they're trying to be smart. They're trying to get to situations where they can – uh, get to the military base, get a lot of loot in case the in case the uh, circle does end up here. Business bears down there. There's Will, um, no, Will Terescu, um Alex Navarro. I mean, honestly, it looks like there's Danny B and Y are ferrying people on the boats. A uh, very intelligent move. I think that's very smart. Uh, they could honestly have control of this entire island by doing that. I mean, people are, have vehicles; they are moving. But just ferrying people is a really smart way of getting a lot of people over to the island quickly without having to bunch up on the bridges or anything like that. If they they got to be careful, though, because if they start spreading past the military base over toward Novo, uh, Krell and Aging Gamer both can get into position very quickly to have sight on the water. And, yeah, as you can see, Aging Gamer already has an SKS, it looks like. Back out. Krell with a shotgun, not quite as, uh, as well off. Uh, but yeah, you're right. They could start picking people off. I, I mean, I'm wondering if that's going to make a difference is picking off a few people at the beginning, or is that just going to give away your position? Uh, is that going to make the other team really say, Oh no, we have to get serious. We have to prepare. And we know what they're coming from this general direction now. Um, well, it, it, it raises a lot of questions about what's the best way to handle seeing someone early on. Well, in a game like this, I mean, if it was me, and assuming that the teams have any kind of mass communication going on, if Krell saw, for example, uh, if Krell saw Danny be ferrying his team across the entire island and relayed that to his team, they would know that they were approaching a war zone instead of just, you know, heading down for a couple of easy kills. They would know they're going to run into the bulk, and that could change how they react. I like how we've already named it the bulk. It absolutely is just a, a bulk of humanity moving as this huge unit, these these a pile of ants all running at one another. God, uh, that is just a scary group of people at the military base right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Tech MF really moving ahead, wanting to get in position. What, I think Tech MF, one of our uh, uh, our viewers, they I think they might even come from like the Waypoint Discord. I'm not sure. I think that's right. They are heading over to Novo, trying to get a weapon where they can own that bridge. I think they want the chance to own this bridge if it comes to that. That circle could go on the north side of the island. Uh, it could go on the other side of the river, I mean. If that happens, maybe this this move isn't for, for much, but maybe they also saw the care package over there. Uh, I think that this team of Jackets, they are starting to move forward. They have a couple of uh, basically uh, scouts moving ahead, seeing if they see anything. And in the meantime, they are looting. They're getting players in good position to... Oh, no, it looks like oh, maybe yeah. they just got a car a car accident. Tech oh, no, they're getting, right, going they're getting right shot out by someone. Are they getting shot up from somebody on their own team? Yeah, maybe. There goes the plane. So, yes, I think this is another uh, uh, strategy of the Jackets team. They want to be in position when these care packages start to drop. They want to be the team that has the most weapons. Tech MF just grabbed a boat. Looks like he's going for that care package. I think that's right. So, you know what? Let's actually let's head over there. Let's see what's in there. Oh, he's going to get a Groza, and he's going to get a lot of ammo and a compensator for that Groza. Yeah, he's going to be able to melt people with that. Absolutely. If he gets into any mid-range fights, uh, he's going to be able to absolutely destroy anyone that comes across them. Uh, over here, we have Will Smith and Trevor moving ahead, trying to get the other care package that's dropping right now. I wonder if I can, like, look at it while it's still in air. Or if it, like, two randomizes. Our, two of our previous winners, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can look at it. Another Groza. And a level three helmet. 
Extended mag. Extended quick draw. So, yeah, their team, I mean, you know, you want 50 Grozas is really what you want. So, uh, you know, having a couple on your on your squad, while it looks like the care packages are still falling on the south side of the island, that's going to give this team a huge advantage. Like, it, those those weapons enable one player to take out three or four at a time. Jeff, do me a favor. Yeah? Quick, very quickly, put your camera under that crate that's falling. Like, oh, hang on. Like this? Yeah, before it hits the ground. Like, get it right up under. I, d does does your camera have a physical presence? Did you stop the crate from falling when you were looking a second ago? Oh, God. Oh, no, I can't get in there. Hang on. Oh, God. No. I can't make the camera work. Damn it. I don't know. I think... Did I run into it? I think... No, I, I definitely can't have a physical presence. That would just make I, no sense. I swear that crate stopped falling when you looked at it the first time because you were directly under it. Yeah, maybe. There's Danny B style. Beach in his boat. He doesn't give a fuck. He's going to run in, going to start looting these buildings. Let's take a look at the map again, just see how these teams have spread out. Uh, so it looks like Jackets, almost all in the circle. Um, skins, they're making their move in there. They looks like they're going to be able to get in. No problem. No one's going to really start taking any damage yet. Things are moving pretty slowly so far. But you would imagine Giraffe. that it's going to happen at the beginning of a match where everyone just wants to get geared up. Giraffe Taffy, another one of our viewer uh, participants who's been a very strong player in the past coming down from Severni, and he's taken circle damage, but it's not too bad right now. Yeah, these early circles are not much to worry about. They're just kind of there to give you a little sting, keep you keep you on your toes. So Tekken Math has that Groza getting all of these loot, these, loot, uh, these crates. Um... Yeah, uh, and meanwhile, it does look like both Ancient Gamer and Krell have set up. They are waiting on the far side of the Northern Island. They just want to make sure that they have eyes on if the other team starts to move towards them. And I don't think, I still think at this point, like if anyone's seen one another, it's Snake Link, Sonic, and whoever on the team is still over this way. But, um, yeah, he's starting to move up that hill. And, yeah, he's going to, like, I think at that point he will be able to start seeing people. He's honking his horn, trying to draw people out. He's trying to do uh, a shave and a haircut two bits. He's not very good at the horn, though. <laughs> Let's just follow him. Let's try to actually just get on his uh, his camera. I can zoom out a little bit, look looks around. Like he's got, looks like he's got a level three helmet. Yep, and he's he's definitely starting to move towards them. Trevor is doing the same thing on the, on the other team. Uh, definitely now, okay, you could see, this is where it's going to start happening. 50 players on one side, 50 players on the other, at least at the start of the match. Uh, at this point now, God, it's just, it's all going to start happening. Long-range weapons are going to make the difference. Uh, those grosses are nice, but I think at, at the start, anyone that's got a sniper rifle is going to have that big advantage. Depending on uh, what direction the team, or the, the two that were at the uh, power plant head, they might get caught unawares by Tech MF because he's just sitting in Novo Ooh. and he's got full vision. Oh, someone's in a, in a gun battle now. The first gun battle, I think. Trevor is going to hop back in the car. Will Smith. Oh, no. Oh, look at this strategy. They are just driving around and they are taking out vehicles. They are well, Yes, absolute spite squad. But now they are finally starting to head towards Krell. That's, I love it. That's the rest of Snake Link Sonic's squad, I believe. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ooh, someone's firing. Try to get aerial view. Yep, they're heading right for him. Krell, Junior, Agent Gamer. They are slowly picking up weapons. I think they're going to... I think Will Smith's going to drive right past them, though, I think, very soon. No, they're still a ways off. My bad. Ooh, no, people are getting killed now. Snake Link Sonic taking down their scout. The team scout just went down. Yeah, he drove right at them. He may have tried to drive his car into them. It didn't work out. Just too many players waiting. Not your buddy guy finally killed. Not your buddy guy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean... I would admit that if I was in this game and I realized the logistics of 50 on 50, I might end it for myself too. So, so yeah, okay, so I think it's impressive that these multiple squads over here looked over at that Jeep, knew it was a skin player, and took them out. That's a, that, so clearly I think you have people working. Oh, go, Trevor goes down. So killed, by, killed by Jew Unit, who uh, just a few minutes ago was 
still up in the ruins getting his loot on. So that, yeah. that's a that's some quick travel. Will Smith trying to get away. He knows that these players are over here now. He's going to go back. He's going to be able to report that to his teams. And it does look like he's going to be able to get away. Oh, boy. Everything's coming to a head now. It's going to be very difficult to keep all of this on camera. We're going to have to do a lot of third-person chat. I'm sorry. I know it's choppy. I know it's not the best. But, oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're going to, we're going to do what we can. And look at this. Multiple squads from Team Jackets moving across the bridge now. I'm starting to see, starting to see some convoys forming. Yes, absolutely. And I think Trevor paid the price. He did die. But what they were doing there, taking out the tires on vehicles, just a very smart move. I think it, realizing that, that that's something that would be important early on uh, is very smart. I mean, maybe it won't be important. Maybe that these, these two massive forces all moving towards one another, uh, you're not going to have much need for a vehicle. But if that circle is unfavorable for one of the teams, like if it goes way south and all these teams on the north have to run, that's, I mean, you're going to wish you had a vehicle at that point. And maybe there's going to be a couple still working, but most, most, te most players are going to have to run just because they took out so many of those, uh, th those Jeeps and those cars. Something interesting to consider, um, the, uh, the Southern team has gotten very lucky on the, uh, the loot box drop so far. I think, yes. I, think four, I think four have dropped, and all four of them have been on, closer to them than the other team. And we've looked in two of them. Two of them were Groza's. Now, if the circle collapses where it's centered right now, that's a lot of open space, which means long-range weapons might become less effective. Uh, and uh, something with a full auto, like a Groza, is suddenly, is suddenly going to be very powerful. That's right. Uh, and I think like the fact that we know that this team already has two, I don't think the other team has any. We can like kind of glance over there, see what weapons people have. Lots of scars, lots of umps. Uh, an AK looks like maybe... Mr. Tambo might have one of the bigger guns. Looks like he, he might have a long machine gun, so that's gonna that might help. Uh, but yeah, I mean, th this team down here definitely has a lot of firepower, uh, and especially it's in, it's in the hand of hands of players like Tim Ek, Tech MF that can do damage, that know how to use those weapons. Uh, they get a lot of kills with just the the standard rifles coming in with something like that. Very scary. Ooh, okay. The Skins team is coming down the hill very quickly. They are taking fire. Nope, they're taking damage from getting in a car accident. I believe Chair Kicker didn't take quite as much. He's going to drive up. Something to consider while we're focusing uh, on this group, on this fight that's about to happen. All always Luigi's got a VSS right now. And yeah. while the VSS isn't the greatest gun, the fact that it's built in silence could be incredibly useful in this situation when you've got these two giant masses of people not giving away your position by sound is super super useful even if you're not doing the most damage i think that's a good point but i mean you hopefully you're able to flick with that weapon something like that because you're, if you're standing right next to someone who is giving away their position it's not going to do you as much good uh it seems like anyone that has a silenced weapon would want to start lone wolfing it as quickly as possible but maybe there's too many players on the other team, so it's a dangerous move. It's it's very tough to know what to do in this situation. I think the interesting thing that might happen, uh, just speculating right now, with uh, with uh, Will Smith and Always Luigi set up in this house right here, and then uh, two more players to the house to the right, if Luigi were to start shooting at anybody coming down from that forest, they might not get spotted, and instead the players next to them would get spotted, which would be good for Luigi, but... Yeah, look at this. This uh, So, Jackets team, they have a forward group here in, in Luigi and Trevisa and Will Smith, and right behind them, Austin Walker leading a, an actual army of people. Right up behind them, ready to take on the first two skin groups. Uh, these guys, okay, looks like they have now three, but everyone else is starting to trickle in, but they're not coming in quite as fast as Jacket group. Jacket group may be coordinating a little bit better. We'll see if that has an advantage. We'll see if maybe these individual teams all working towards a similar goal, but in different, different, uh, taking different tactics, working separately. Maybe that's the right thing because maybe they are going to behave more randomly in a well, way that doesn't doesn't funnel everyone into a path the way that that Austin Walker's team has. Something to consider too, uh, directly behind or directly to these players' right, uh, behind our camera point of view right now. Those are jacket players, right? Like Wait, that, down, uh, oh, over there. Like, yeah, Ju Unit is jacket player. He was looting ruins at the start, so wow, he okay. he at least 
he at least is on the opposite team, and he's no, I, on his, he's I think, across I think the ru- runs right now. Wait, which ruins? The uh, ruins at the very far north? Because I, th- I got confused for a while. Like these ruins? Yeah, Stalber. Yeah, no, that, that was actually skins. I got confused. Uh, the Jekin unit was definitely coming from the, uh, the southwest. Um, I just was confused at first. I thought the plane came from the other direction, so I said that that was jacket, but that wasn't right. Okay, well, let's see. Flip it, flip it around then. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, you're right. So now this team, in their underwear, are waiting over here for this entire. I mean, what is it? It's, it's not a squad. It's like not even a platoon. It is like a just a whole unit. Like a core. Yeah, and they are taking shots. You could see. Ooh, yeah. I, as, I, as I tried to go on Nile T, uh, tra- or J- Javiso was able to take him down. Luigi knocks someone down. I think Luigi. There's that VSS a, play. Yeah, Luigi, a jacket player. You're right. Get back on. Oh, why does it always go to hacks? I was clicking on Henry. So here we go. The, all these jacket players have started to look at the, the cars all lined up, all in the parking lot. And yeah, I, it, it just looks like skins are going to be overwhelmed in this early encounter. And I think once once one side starts losing three players here, two players there, uh, it's going to be hard to catch up. If one team starts taking an early lead, the force, just the number game, is going to mean that the forces are going to be overwhelming for skins. So what you would hope to see is all these like disparate players on skins who are apparently, someone is dying over here. I wonder how that's happening. I wonder if they're going to try to Get over here as quickly as possible. Uh, I mean, they don't need to necessarily. Are, there's still a huge amount of people to the south that they're going to have to worry about. But for now, this is where the fighting is. Uh, let's hop on. Jew unit. No, wait, Regina. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It is starting to get pretty hard to manage from just a... Uh, oh, there it goes. A motorcycle doing something strange. All right. Yep. Skins players going down in the street. Or is that a jacket player? That looks like a jacket. Yeah, so some jacket players starting to go down now. That was uh, one of those flankers, I think. Yeah. Uh, one of our viewer players, who I think is on the northern team, uh, flanking the uh, skins, and he has a car. I don't know if he has any scopes on it, but still. Yeah, let's, let's check this out. Oh, that looks like a four times, right? Yeah, I know he's a skins player too. So, like, this is the one team that could maybe do some damage. Because uh, I don't think anyone knows they're necessarily there. It's going to be very hard to tell, like, where they're coming from. That's Jade Kiwi getting some kills now. Yeah, I think Jade Kiwi was a jacket player, I believe. Jade Kiwi, if you were listening earlier, you were the person I said that was wearing a jacket and you shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have been. I'm sorry, I was wrong. I hope I didn't confuse you. This is just really hard to manage. So, okay. So, yeah, look at this. Skins has the high ground, and that could be what gives them the advantage in the end. But that circle is going to force many of them to have to move. I mean, it's all happening right now. That that circle is punishing. Oh, I'm, I'm very curious. Uh, we might have to ask somebody after this, but if you look at the northern team... They are pulling some gunpowder revolution British area tactics. Like, they're spread out in a firing line right now. I don't that's know right. if it's intentional or not. But it's in, in a situation like this, that's very effective. Let's see. I can hit X and bring up some of the, the bodies of the players. We see the waypoint team holding down that two-story. Oh, look at this team starting to finally flank in. Pulling in, trying to make, like, Tech MF and Charles 8 Ratliff pay. Tech MF, nope. Taking them out, though, with that Groza. Ooh, crotch cam. Taint cam is back, everybody. I know it's your favorite. So, yeah, look at them all set up on the wall. Taking some energy drinks. Getting some boost. They got four players ahead of them. Fromenix just goes down. Bizbear able to knock him down. Oh, some shots coming in on Tech MF now. Maybe starting to take shots from the other direction. People with, with, with specs or with, uh, with optics from that direction up on those hills would be able to see his back. So, yeah, he's not going to be in a great situation this entire time. There's just so many directions that enemies could be coming from right now. So many players converging on the same point that this is just a... It, it's got to be so hard to think about where you're safe. You're never safe. Uh, the, inter- the interesting thing here is the, uh, the Northern team seem to be Look funneling... At this. 
They are moving together as a group. They are all rushing in. Well, they have to. The blue circle right behind them, all forcing them in at these teams fortified in these buildings. Uh, and this could be a slaughter like we saw earlier. This could be the, the same thing we saw with the, the mountain players having to run down that mountain at a, at a fortified, fortified position, like Danny B style, taking shots. Uh, Will Smith getting a knock. Will getting a knock. Tech knock. Oh, Tech knock took down Tech MF. So this flanker unit might be the, like, the salvation for skins. Uh, they are the only ones that were really in a good position to come in and flank from behind. They're, they still are. No one knows they're over here. If they start moving now, they could get kills. They could draw enough attention to give the rest of their team a chance to survive. Because I don't think it's those two players that are going to win the whole game if they do for skins. So, you know what? I think it's time to take a, a, cl a close look. Oh, it doesn't do it by, like, I can't tell who's, who's skins and who's not. <laughs> Oh, man, I wish I could, like, look at that. That's one thing that's very hard. Like, I should be able to tag the teams, like, one way or the other. So, I, yeah, I've lost the thread. I know that Henry Mark IV, a lot of these players have started to move back. They got in their cars. They're moving to this new circle. They were very smart to hide those vehicles, and they know that all the vehicles behind them are, are down. They're done. Oh, Regina just gets run over. And that, I think... I think that was a skin unit, maybe. No, that's that's jacket player right there. And look yeah, at them. That was, a, that, that was a dirty team kill, that was. Yeah. Regina trying to run to safety. Phoenix Wolf also down. Dr. Jones running. Regina likely to going to die here any moment. So it looks like, okay, so this whole line of players looks like they are our skin players, uh, except for Javiso and Luigi and Will Smith. Absolutely just trying to take out everyone running at them. This is... A beach of Normandy situation now. Uh, there is a t a, a definitely an attacking unit and a defending unit now. Uh, the skins are attackers. Jackets are defending their positions, their fortified positions. Uh, they just got in a situation where, where jackets were positioned and skins were not. Um, skins took too long looting at the north. And I think that's going to be what forces them to pay in the end. Still, plenty of people still alive. 71. Kate Stark just took out Javiso. Kate Stark, a skin player. Agent Lightburn Gamer, Will Smith. Tech MF, able to get the Tech MF, Tech MF came back and is getting some kills. Hacks goes down though. Yeah, trading kills now at this point. This is just war. Yep. Let's zoom in. Let's see. Let's see what Austin Walker sees. This is this is where it gets messy because for the longest time the circle advantage was to the southern team and then the northern team just methodically moved around the lip of the circle and then by the time the circle landed where it is right now I mean look they at had this come all the way down so do they now it's, like a Will Smith's team I, I believe got eaten up by this wave down here this flanking wave now to the southeast if they if that if that flanking unit can come in and surprise uh, enough people that could be what makes the difference now. I mean, the players are starting to drop very quickly now. Everyone coming in here. So many players knocked. People still getting pulled up. You can't pull up. You can't uh, revive someone if they're not on your five-person unit, which is why it's so important to stay close to your five-person team. Now, it looks, like, uh, it looks yes. like the defenders are aware of the flankers. Yeah, they are. But do they have enough firepower to take them out? A lot of people in these buildings here. Trying to get revived. We're down uh, to 40 it, left alive. I mean, it's. It, I mean, let's just take a look. I'm going to see if I can try to put two and two together. Well, it's interesting to note that the, this little village that they're in right here, the, they're not all on the same team in, the, in this match of ours. About half of them are on the other team. So more jacket players down there. I think that, let's see, Zen Zero might be a, you know, another jacket player. So look at this. Oh, my God. The vehicle's running into this this flanking unit. I, I'm starting to get the sensation that these are the last skin players left alive. And they are now in a situation where they are in the circle. And finally, Jackets have to move on them. But do they have enough people left? Doc Mason able to get a kill. Well, they've got, they've got good position right now with the way the circle just landed again. They absolutely like they do. But I, the, do they have the firepower? I mean, Kate Stark is... Uh, just absolutely being the killer that she always is. She prevented Bizbear from uh, reviving K-Pop over there. She's going to try to take the shot. Bizbear goes down now. K Kate Stark's going to try to finish him off. Kate Stark is uh, maybe leading this, this advance over here. And, yeah, uh, it, it's time It's time for Jackets to move. It's time for them to run. Oh, no, they're going to be in the, the very edge of the circle inside these buildings, I think. Oh, boy. 
So I think what we're going to see here is we're going to see the uh, skins team using this. Uh, Did you see you five or six people just all die on this edge of the beach? Yep. Look at this. Kate Stark's team just waiting. They are in position. They, where, they are where they want to be. They're going to let the jackets come to them. And now it's... Sit on the they're just going to sit on the safe side of this death blade and it, just take it's just going to come down. Come across. It's going to come down to who is going to make their shots. Oh, Tom Chang going in, trying to draw fire, and right now I think that was a, a coordinated attack. The chief goes in, tries to draw fire. Everyone aims at that. Everyone else from the Jack team's rushing now. They're running in, trying to take off the last remaining skin players. Tom Chain actually got K Star with that vehicle before he went down. What an insane play! And that might be enough. I, I, we, we're looking at the last few skin players over here, I think, remaining in this little grouping. And every, uh, Kate Stark gets knocked. And, yes, Dr. Jones is going to run in, maybe try to put them down with a shotgun. Yes, they are starting to be wiped out. Rare Monkey, a little bit of life left. Foraxen has got full health. Almost full. No, Foraxen takes a shot. And this is it. This is it. Looks like Jackets are going to rush, try to put out the last one. I believe if Fraxen goes down, that's it. I think he might be right. I think Fraxen might be the last skin player. And he's getting flanked right yep. now. And he's down. And that's it. I believe that's it. Well done to the Jackets team. I'm going to let everyone in Discord know. I know. I, I, <laughs> I, I think Jackets won. <laughs> hey, what the hell was that Jeep strategy? That was so intense. That was so good. Are we all in agreement that it's time to shoot? I think it's... Hey, it's time. So. Is it hey, Miller time? There, there's only enough chick there's <laughs> only enough chicken for like three or four people, guys, so uh, you know what to do. Miller time. Wow. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. come on. Beware the oh. car, the car is not our oh. Oh. I am God. so happy that Luigi got in that car. God. Look at Henry in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the car the move. <laughs> that the He's going to the boat! He's going to the boat! Fuck up that boat! It's both strats. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no! Penguin, you asshole! Oh my god, I want to run more people over now. Running um, ah, knock out the, in the underwater! Holy hell. Kill this guy! I can't, he's in the, the water. One. Chaos. Yes! Yeah. Wow. No, 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 two. Two. Yeah. Team two. No. Oh my god. That, hell yeah. Oh, that's right. Right. Wow. Wow. Man, holy shit. That, that was the most ridiculous match of this game I've ever played in my entire life. That was wow. a lot of fun. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was awesome. fucking awesome. Oh my god. I'm really oh, all sorry all of you heard me tell Austin quick get away so we can betray them. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Thank you for that. that was Our team had five alive at the end. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. God. Didn't we all live? Yeah, we did. Yeah, until Henry went out in the circle. <laughs> and we all lived to tell the tale. <laughs> 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 All right, well, gentlemen, I think I am out for tonight. Thank you for the games. Yeah, I'm also. I, I can't games, imagine anything else after that. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, guys. That was real fun. Yeah, it's hard to follow that, that one up. Oh, my God, that Let's was super dumb. Um, my good first, 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 I'm just so fired up. First, 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 first. Seeing just like, just like a dozen people going over a hill at the same time. Huh, okay. What the hell? That was pretty nuts. That was good. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty dumb. That worked out that pretty worked well. That worked better than I expected. For that real. Was insane, Jeff. Well, just That's to be clear, wild. did the nudes have a battle, like, kill them for their jackets, like we had kill all the nudes? I, I don't know. At the beginning, I was confused about which side was which, so uh, I, I would imagine if there was any... Uh, we had the jackets on. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I imagine so, that they had to, like, kill a few stragglers for sure. Man, okay. When did Gary die? <laughs> Gary <laughs> die first? I want to know if Gary died first. <sighs> okay. He did not. Um, I watched. I don't know what to do next. What do we do now? I think do some first person. Yeah, just do first some person. poor man. Sure. Sure. Sounds first good. Person.